Immortal John Hancock here. What up, peeps? So we hinted at some collaborations that we had coming up, and one of them is with John Hancock, and he was nice enough to film that ridiculous intro that I, I came up with, and I thought it was so funny in my head. And I didn't know if he was going to be willing to do it or not, but he was nice enough to do it. And <laughs> hopefully you guys thought it was funny as well. Uh, but we did film uh, three videos, actually, while he was here. He came in before we opened. Um, we filmed uh, one video for our channel here. And then he's got two videos that are that's going to be going up on his channel, which is really, really cool. And uh, I'm excited to see what you guys think of them. So I'm not going to spoil anything, but um, the two videos, well, the, the video that we're doing and then the one video that he's doing, they are related, they're similar, and we're going to try to upload those on the same day. So, um, so you'll see those. And then the second video that he's doing, I don't know if it's going to be before or after that one, he, you know, I guess he'll let me know. Um, but make sure you are subscribed to his channel just in case you want to see the videos that he's doing on his channel for us, which is super awesome. We do still have other collaborations planned and uh, doing one doing one next week, which is going to be pretty cool. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. So um, I'm not going to ramble too long here, but we do have a ton of trades to go over. And it's been really tough today because um, both Kyle and Adam ended up leaving early today because it was kind of slow. Um, but even when it's slow, just having me, Abby, and Ryan, it still makes it a little bit stressful. Uh, this is the first chance I've really had to come into the back and do some filming today, and it's like 6 p.m. already. So why don't we look at some trades here, and then uh, we've got some other stuff for the day. All right, so first up from today, we have a big stack of games here in no particular order. We have Ark Survival Evolved. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, uh, I guess someone traded in a new copy. Uh, FIFA 21 for PS5, which is new. Just Dance 2021, which is new. Madden 21, which is new. Someone must have kept these on clearance. NHL 21, Just Dance 21. And we have Hannah Montana, a couple of those. Skylander Spires Adventure. Ghost in the Shell uh, DVD. Spider-Man 2. Limited Edition Jade Empire, Grand Theft Auto 5, UFC 2009, MLB 07, NBA Live, ESPN NFL, Call of Duty Finest Hour, Halo Combat Evolved, Number One Hits Lips, I've never heard of that game before, Band Hero, Grand Theft Auto 5, and Disney Infinity. We have a Camo PS4 controller, and then we have a Pokemon Sun and Mood Strategy Guide. This is the Collector's Edition. And then, well, this is not a trade-in, but we have a factory-sealed copy of Shockwave for the NES. This actually came from my collection, and I didn't mean to add this to my collection. I bought this on not the most previous retro hunting road trip that you guys haven't seen yet, but I think the, the one before that... Um, and I think that I had bought it to sell, but since it was an NES game without thinking, I had put it in with the stuff that I was going to keep, and there it sat. <laughs> and I just started going through stuff the other day, and I was like, oh, this is sealed. I already have one of these opened, so I don't need it, so I got this to sell. So, sealed copy of Shockwave for the NES. Not in perfect shape, does have some creasing and stuff on the box. Uh, but, I mean, overall, it's not too bad. The seal is good, at least, but pretty cool. And then we have a bunch of Nintendo Switch games here. Most of these are factory sealed. These were traded in earlier this morning. So, and most of them are limited run games and most of them have the card on the back. So we have Corpse Killer, The Mummy Demastered, Chasm, uh, Mighty Gunbolt, uh, Gunvolt Burst, Doom 64, Jay and Silent Bob Mall Brawl, Grandia HD Collection, Samurai Jack, and then also I want to mention what the price is. Some of these have different covers for the Best Buy versions, and then there's like the Limited Run version has a different one, and some of them, there is a price difference between them, so um, I was pricing based off of eBay, so some of the prices are not going to line up with price charting, but it just depends on the cover variant of the game. Return of the Obra Dinn, Star Wars Episode One Racer, Shantae Risky's Revenge, Shantae, Tower Fall, Cthulhu Saves Christmas. We have Fury. This is an opened one. Uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth. That's opened. 
uh, Super Neptunia RPG is opened, Sushi Striker is opened, and Oxen Free is open, and then Langrisseer 1 and 2 is open. Those are the only opened ones. Everything else was sealed. Divinity 2, Original Sin, uh, Valhalla, Cyberpunk Bartender Action, Blasphemous, Horizon Chase Turbo, uh, Yomawari, The Long Night Collection. This one I need to change the condition on because it's listed as, you know, it's listed as excellent, but it does have this sticker on the front, which is from Fred Meyer, which is a local store, and it's a security sticker, and you can't really remove that uh, without messing up the seal. So I forgot to change the condition. I need to do that. I'll put it to the side. And then Shantae, Half Genie Hero. And then we have the Sonic Colors Ultimate Edition, Real Mist, the missing uh, something JJ, something, I don't know, <laughs> Blossom Tales, The Sleeping King, Rogue Legacy. I'm pretty sure we just got this the other day, but it was an opened one. Uh, Transistor, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, Freedom Planet, Thimbleweed Park. Uh, I don't know if it's Lumens or Lumines. I don't know, but whatever. Lumens Remastered. Windjammers. Dust and Elysian Tale, Stranger Things 3 The Game, Aegis Defenders, or Aegis, I don't know how you say that one either, and Giga Wrecker Alt. We also got these plushies in, but I don't think that they were put in the system yet, but um, I guess, I think this is like a portal plushie, and this is, I guess, like an evil chow from uh, Sonic Adventure, but uh, I don't think those are in the system quite yet, but lots of awesome stuff today so far, and then I'll film some more trades later. My staff pick is Clockwork Knight, and this is on the Sega Saturn. This is a side-scrolling platformer, um, and it is about a knight named Pepper who wakes up at midnight, and he is woken up by this voice that belongs to, like, a fairy princess, and he's in love with her, and basically she gets kidnapped, so he and his friend Ginger, well, frenemy Ginger, try to go and rescue her because if she's gone forever, then the toys won't wake up anymore. There is a sequel to it, and it is a super awesome, fun game. I really enjoy it. It's probably my favorite game on the Sega Saturn. It's literally why I own a Saturn, and it's also the only game that I own for the Saturn. You guys should try it. It's a really fun platformer, and it is not very difficult, which is the great thing about it, so it's really easy to enjoy. We just had an order come through on the website for the Dragon Quest Switch, so Adam's gonna be happy. We close here in just a few minutes, so I need to <laughs> film some stuff before Ryan leaves because Abby's also leaving <laughs> when we close. And yes, we have live. Yeah, but the peeps still want a video. Oh, okay. They well, do. We have lives. The peeps want a video. All the peeps are getting the video. Yeah, but it's not a good one today. We we're like we've been like busy and slow on and off and yeah. Um we still don't have the shipping stuff, so um we didn't ship out any new orders today, so I'm sorry if you have an order, it's still probably processing, but we're going to be getting to them very soon. What are these, Ryan? It's a trade in. Yeah. Yeah. Got this stuff and that stack of <gasps> Wii games. Are those stickered? Yes, they are. Cool. You I'll show those. Them? No, I'll show them later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I filmed one clip of trade so far, but I have some stuff for another clip. I'll just add those into the second one. Right. But yeah, also those uh, 64 controllers. Oh, nice. Yeah. We don't normally show you guys the consoles and the controllers and stuff unless they're yeah. something special. So like these, I wouldn't normally show because we have, I don't know how many genesis model twos and how many white Wii's we have yeah. <laughs> i don't want to just keep showing you i mean sometimes we get yeah. multiple Wii's in a day yeah do you want me to film like three Wii's? No. Nah. <laughs> you guys would rather see the game yeah. so that's what i usually show but True. this is just a little a little sampling yeah. of you know some of the kind of stuff that we get in that doesn't get filmed yeah is that um jungle green controller official yes it is nice i'm pretty sure i did scrape away this so i Oh, it's got a big sticker on it. Yeah. Oh, it's a GameStop yeah. sticker. It'll clean off. What, what the heck, GameStop? <laughs> yeah. Is the joystick good? This one is actually pretty good. I nice. Might switch it out just because like, it goes from side to side a little bit, but up and down, it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, Maybe it just needs one of the gears replaced. Just Can we see that Xbox controller? 
Yeah. The horrible abomination. <laughs> the one that Cooper absolutely hates. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So look at all the pretty colors. Got pink, green, blue, <laughs> orange, a different green, and a different blue, and a different blue. <laughs> it's so bad. It's awesome. <laughs> It's like fully working and everything. Yep. Man, I it's so it's ugly. It's beautiful. Are you keeping it? Yeah. Oh my god. Why? So I can it's special. irritate you with it. <laughs> it's special. It's so yeah. Ugly. It's special, all right. No, no. <laughs> it was made by like a fourteen-year-old girl. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it, huh? The only thing that would make it cooler if it is if it had a gamer tag on it. <laughs> Like, what was that? Unlike that last one? Like, hashtag something Steph? It, yeah, there was, we had a PS4 controller. It's like Steph Gamer or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wasn't it like a YouTuber or yeah. something like that? Yeah. Yeah. But, like, yeah. somebody could have yeah. just had that custom made for themselves with that True. gamer tag on it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know the story behind it. I don't even know where that went. I think it's it sold. Yeah. Yep. Sold. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. I think it didn't last, like, very long at all. It was just, like, yeah. a day or two. We, yeah, we didn't have it for for a while. Well, you gonna head out? Yeah, I think so. Did you get any cool stuff today? Uh, <laughs> this. Yes. Ryan's like, yes, I did. Got this. Cool. And this. <laughs> oh yeah, cowboy. Is that a soundtrack? Yes. Nice. Um, <gasps> it's sealed. Yeah, it's sealed, and I'm probably gonna open it. Oh my god. I love Cowboy Bebop music. <laughs> I like the seatbelts. You know, they make most of the music for Cowboy Bebop. Nice. Check them out. The seatbelts. You can you see. Seatbelts. Bam. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. uh, bye. bye, I guess. Bye. These are the last of the trade-ins from today. We do have a couple consoles here that are a little special. We have the Retro USB AVS, which uh, if you guys don't know, this is a basically a NES clone system that outputs with an HDMI cable, uh, which is really, really awesome. It also works a lot better than an original console. That's why they go for a lot of money. This one is complete in the original box. We also have another one in stock right now that is loose that we have priced at 250. And when I went to price this one today, I was like, man, we kind of have it underpriced a bit because they're selling for three to 350 on eBay with or without the box. But um, so I priced this one up 50 bucks from the loose one and hopefully they sell pretty soon. And then we have the Analog Mega SG. This is another, I guess you would call it a clone system, but this is a Sega Genesis one made by Analog and uh, super, super high quality, uh, also outputs in HD and uh, just super awesome. We get these every now and then, but they're, they're not super common. And then we have three stacks of games here um, in no particular order. We're just gonna start over here. We have a PlayStation 4 gig memory card for the Vita. We have Tetris for Game Boy. We have Disgaea for PSP. And then 3x3 three three Eyes, Gundam F91, both for Super Famicom. Then we have Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. We have Rhythm Heaven Fever for the Wii, which uh, used to be like a $10, $15 game, and it's got really expensive. We have Smash Bros. Brawl, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Extraction. Oh, we also have it for PS4. Call of Duty Vanguard for PS5. Skyward Sword for the Wii, Last Bronx disc only for the Saturn, Final Fantasy XI Chains of Promethea expansion pack, Eternal Darkness, I did not know that was in here, and Near Replicant, this looks like a Japanese import. Then we have Pac-Man Versus and Pac-Man World 2, Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer, Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 2, we have a disc only Wii Sports, Rock Band Metal Track Pack, Remington Super Slam Hunting Alaska, Go Play Circus Star, Need for Speed Pro Street, Metroid Prime 3, Pirates, Beatles Rock Band, Call of Duty 3, Pirates of the Carib Caribbean or Caribbean, whatever, Blazing Angels, Metroid Other M, Avatar the Game, Medal of Honor Heroes 2, Call of Duty Black Ops, You Draw Studio Artist, and Rock Band Track Pack Classic Rock. And then we have Vampire Suck. Heathcliff, Paranormal Encounters Collection, only 99 cents. 
I'm gonna have to look that up because that I mean 28 what is this 28 movies or what I don't know uh, Sonic the Hedgehog we have a sealed Metroid Samus Returns for 3DS and Diablo for PS1 this is actually the copy that we sold maybe like a week ago and the guy that bought it is one of our regulars. He took it home, played it, beat it, and wanted to trade it back in. <laughs> so those are all the trade-ins from today. Some pretty cool stuff. Nothing like super, super crazy, but some good stuff overall. Sorry that today's video is not as uh, varied or exciting as I would hope the videos would be, but uh, today was just a little tough and just didn't have a lot of time or inspiration, I guess, to to take the time and actually film because we were, I felt, I felt as if we were short staffed. It wasn't super, super busy. So we, we weren't, but it just kind of had that feeling because two people were not here. Uh, but, um, you know, still try to film some stuff and at least put out some sort of video. Um, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that either way. Yeah. I just wanted to also say that, um, I know that some people watching this video do not like John Hancock. I know that some people watching this video don't even like me, but, and that's perfectly fine. I just, I hope that you guys will give the videos a chance and we'll check them out because I think that they're cool and it's fun to be able to do these collaborations and everything because we're very lucky that we live in Vancouver because, you know, Portland is right there. Seattle is only a few hours north and there are so many opportunities that we have to do collaborations with other other YouTubers because there's so many people in this area. And I know that there's a lot of YouTubers that live in smaller towns or just states where they don't have anyone around them. And so we're very lucky to have the opportunity to do stuff like this. And I would love to do it more. And I hope that you guys will check out the videos when they do go up and, you know, give them a like and show some support and everything. And, uh, you know, hopefully everything works out. We can do more stuff like this. And like I said, we do have another collaboration planned for next week. Not sure when the videos will go up, but the person that we're collaborating with will be in the vlog as well. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So for the question of the day today, we got that Nintendo Switch collection earlier and it was basically full of like limited run games. And so for the question, I wanted to know what do you guys think of companies like Limited Run. They were kind of the original one, but there's a ton of them out there now. There's super rare games, there's special reserve, there's one print games, there's all these different companies that are basically releasing low print run games for the Nintendo Switch or the PS4 or whatever console. And I know a lot of people do not like Limited Run, a lot of people do, and I'm just curious what you guys think and your reasoning for your opinion. So leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. And that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you again tomorrow.